Hi everyone, this is Malcolm Braff and I'm going to start a small series of videos to demonstrate and show the modules that uh, we've been developing together with Gustav Scholder and Christian Vogel from the Never Engine Labs um, for Kima. So the modules are based on a rhythm theory that I have called the non-Euclidean rhythms theory. Uh, more can be found about this theory on a uh, blog that I started writing a couple of months ago. Um, the blog is here, generaltheoryofrhythm.org. And, uh, well, there's a little bit of an explanation of how the, the theory works. Mm, uh, the modules... Basically, there are three modules that work together in a modular way um, to apply the the concepts of the theory. Uh, the first one that, I, that I'm going to show today is the time index groove. Um, so <coughs> the time index groove basically is warping an incoming time index according to certain rules. So if I look here at the prototype so you have the incoming time index and two hot value fields where you can write patterns or expressions and basically you will have the time index morphing from pattern A to pattern B I'll go into offset and the other fields later but here I chose pattern A to be 1. That means pattern A is not changing the original time index at all. But according to the morph value here, uh, I will slowly fade from pattern A, which is the straight time index, and pattern B. Now what pattern B does is it will do some wave shaping to the incoming time index uh, so that a five tuplet becomes a pattern made of five elements with the length that are here specified two one one two one so yeah maybe I have here okay this last example here that I called professor Bruss phrase five tuplet so you have here pattern a that's your basic five tuplet because it has five elements and it will slowly morph into this pattern that's actually a seven tuplet. So uh, one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five one two th right. So here you're listening to a recording where I'm just counting to five, and with the morph value at zero, nothing happens, and as you can see. On the oscilloscope, the time index goes straight. You can see that the time index is warped, and actually, it's meeting the seven division. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and tuck it, 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 tuck Three, four, five, one, two, 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 three, four, five. Right. So this is the very basics of the time index groove module. It's warping the time index due to rhythm parameters that you put in the hot value fields. So now if I look at the at the module, there's time index for it, the original time index pattern A and pattern B and you can set it to Euclidean mode uh, which means that it will not consider pattern A and pattern B but instead will morph from equal tuplet to a Euclidean pulses per beat distribution and so in that case you can use offset to rotate your uh, Euclidean uh, distribution. Uh, here's something interesting. 
if you select output difference instead of outputting a warped time index uh, the module will, will output the difference between the original time index and the warped time index this is here for a modularity purpose and um, maybe yeah let me uh, show an example of this uh, okay so here i'm having <coughs> again the time index groove uh, this time i'm morphing a four tuplet a four division of the cycle here the target pattern is 2112 which happens to be the brazilian 16th note i think i have an example here as well right just here you can see um the brazilian 16 note so it's a 16 note but slowly morphing through this six tuplet pattern so that's the, the phrasing the groove that time index groove is doing but here as you can see i selected output difference and and so uh, let me show you a little bit the sound design here that's the sound file i'm reading with the time index i'm actually reading a sample with time index it's a, a rhythm loop by christian vogel and i'm going to mix together with this time index a warped time index from a 16th of the duration so this time index is a ramp that is a 16 times uh, frequency of this one basically because the uh, rhythm loop that i want to read has 16 beats so each beat i'm gonna warp making equal four divisions of the beat morph slowly into that brazilian 16th note here i use an attenuator to um, scale the difference output here to the portion of the main ramp which is 1 16th and so when i mix them together i should if i change the morph value i will hear the the, the brazilian 16th phrasing so okay so here you can see well i don't know what those here means but okay here you have the straight um time index reading the sample with uh, time index and as i move you see here the difference output right and as i increase and you can see the result here um, uh, maybe like this yes right you can see the result is a, a cycle of the warping every 16th of the big ramp uh, which means one beat uh, i have this warping happening right so that's it um, uh, i think uh, the main purpose and features of timing index groove can be understood now um, what i just showed can be also done with the time index modulo that i'm going to be demonstrating in the next video so thank everyone for watching and enjoy <laughs>